Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial, I will be building a graphical user interface kind of application where you can convert your text into audio using a Python library which is GTTS. So let me just run this application from my command line python app.py. So you will see this graphical user interface. The language is English. You can change the language from English to Hindi, French, German, all that stuff. So it supports many languages. So first of all, let me tell you about English. So I read, I write the text. Hello, this is Gotham. So if I click this button, or you will see on the left hand side, it will create this file welcome.mp3. And let me also turn on the volume so that you can hear. So if I click convert to audio. Hello, this is Gotham. So now you can see that it has played the text and also it has created this mp3 file which you can save and as I already told you you can support Hindi language as well so Hindi language code is HI and now if I run this application once again and if I type anything in Hindi here so so you can see that so it supports mul multiple languages so I will change to English and all the source code of this application is given in the video description just go to the video description and download the source code you will be redirected to my blog so on that we will have the full source code so let me just write this application from scratch so first of all we need to delete this mp3 file which is there inside my directory so for building this application you will require three libraries first is the GUI library with, which is twiginter so twiginter is the first library second will be gtts where we are converting the text to audio so g uh, double t and s so this is a library and the third library is play sound so play sound is uh, playing the sound in the python application so three libraries so just install it by pip i have already done that so let me just make a graphical user interface we will import twiginter like this and then we will be importing the gtts library and from that we need to import g double t s and uh, we will also be importing the play sound library play sound and from that we need to import play sound so as i already told you this library will be useful to play sounds in python application so now we will initialize the tk quickinter app like this and run the main loop function and uh, if i just run this you will see a window coming up this is our quickinter window and now to configure the width and the height it is pretty simple you need to configure provide a geometry method inside this you provide the width 500 comma 500 so width and the height then we will provide a simple title to the screen which is uh, python text to audio app uh, after providing the title now we just need to have a simple heading on the screen so we will be making use of a label module so inside this there is a te text property so text will be equal to the actual label which will be shown in the heading so this will be simply python text to audio app and there is a back background property bg so bg will be equal to black color and the foreground oh sorry this needs to be equal to yellow the background color will be yellow and the foreground color fg will be black we also need to provide the font property so font will be equal to 10 and uh, the width will be equal to 500 and the height will be 3 like this after you initialize your heading you need to add this to the screen so we will use the pack method to add the heading so now if i refresh it you will see your heading in the center of the screen if i run this you will see heading is center of the screen that's it and now we just need a simple text field where we can write our text that needs to be converted into audio for that we will be having the 
text field variable inside this we will make use of label again so this is a text that will be written will be text that's it now we need to add this text field so this time we will you make use of the place method not the pack method so this takes the x coordinate and the y coordinate so x will be 50 and y will be 70 so after uh, this basically this is a label guys this is not a uh, input field so you will see a simple label text label and uh, right below it we need to uh, just add our input field but before that we need to uh, just uh, invoke a simple variable so this will be a string var so inside this variable we will be holding the text and now we will be making the entry field with the help of entry module so this will be a field a simple input field so text variable we will it will be equal to the text variable that we have declared early on comma we need to provide the width to the input box so this will be equal to 30 now we need to place this so text underscore entry we will again use the place method x will be equal to this time 15 x will remain constant and y will change to 100 that's it and now in order to run this I think that I closed the command line so so inside this you write python app dot py so now you will see a simple input field here you will write your text and after this we just want a simple button so when we click that button we need to convert the file to an audio file so button we will be using the button module so the text will be the simple label so this will be equal to convert to audio comma and then we will have a command property so when we click this button we need to execute this function which will convert underscore audio so basically it will run when we click the button and the width of the button will be 30 and the height will be equal to 2 and the background color will be gray this time now we need to add this so button place so x will be again 15 and y will change to 140 if i refresh now if i close the application you will see the button will be there so it is saying convert audio is not defined so we need to define this function at the very top so def convert audio so this is a function and the very first link of uh, time we need to get is the text underscore info so this will be the actual text which is written so text dot get so basically whatever the user has typed inside the text field we will be getting it inside this variable so we are invoking a get method so this will get stored inside text info variable after getting the text we will initialize the language so language will be equal to english so en is the code and then we will be initializing the gtts library so we will use gtts and inside this first of all we need to pass the text property so text will be equal to the text info so whatever the user has typed the second parameter is actual language parameters so language will be equal to the language that we have defined inside our language variable third parameter is slow so you can uh, slow is a boolean variable so we need to have false so if you invoke it to true so it will speak in a slow manner slow motion and then we need to save this file so save it as uh, let's suppose uh, uh, audio.mp3 file and then we also need to play it so we will use the play sound well library and pass this as uh, audio.mp3 so the path you need to pass so it is there inside the same directory so we will pass the path audio.mp3 uh, and also we need to delete the text which is written so it is pretty simple text underscore entry we need to delete it zero and that's it 
um, I think that one error is there. This needs to be play sound and S needs to be small here. So that is why it was creating the error. So now the application is complete, guys. If I run the application, is uh, Python app dot py, and if I run the application, if I write any text here, hello, my name is Kautam, and convert to audio. Hello, my name is Kautam. So you can see that, guys, it has spoken these words that we have written in the input box, and also it has created this this file audio dot mp3. So thanks very much, guys, for watching this video. And all the source code is given in the video description. Go to the video description, download the source code, and I will be seeing you in the next video.